Next level camping stove. Check this out. Do you see that? So then you're going to put your little grill. Nice. And then you have a couple of holders right here. You can lift this up in case it's hot and you need to add on charcoal. Probably best to grab it this way right here and you lift it up when it's hot. And this is how easy it is to fold it back up. Done. One more time, slowly I'll show you how this unfolds. I'll hold this and whenever you flip it, do you see how it's slided all in? You see there's little notches all over, holds it so well. Beautiful. And whenever you wanna close it back up, just lift it, put it upside down and it closes. This is amazing, wow. Okay, one more time, look how easy that is. Folding grill, just a rock. Boom, nice. Love it, so easy and there's plenty of ventilation. This is awesome, definitely the best Fire pit, portable fire pit, whatever you want to call it. Done. Got it here, portable solar panel. This thing only costs $200. All power, that's the name of it. Really nice casing. Comes with a bunch of chargers. Check this out. Carabiners. We're gonna figure it out how much will it charge my cell phone. Wow, that's really thick. It's not the skinniest, but wow, that is looking so cool. It is huge. So we gotta go outside and film it because it's so big. I can't believe this is only $200. It feels really thick, has a bunch of little stops with carabiner so you can hang it pretty much anywhere. Let's just lay out this solar panel right here. You see how big that is? That's nice. It is quite big, so we leveled it right on the sun. It will turn this way slowly, so set it up a little bit at the angle. And let's see, my cell phone is charged at 43%. It says it's charging 10 o'clock on the dot. We just plugged it in, you see? Thick material, protects it really well. Okay, let's leave it out here, see what happens. Not super cloudy, as you can see. <laughs> Looks like it's a sun okay, somewhat cloudy, not so good, and rain not good, will not charge. You have to be sunny. Got a bit cloudy, so not the perfect uh, sun, but let's see what it did. 30 minutes later, 74%, wow, that's insane. So, like 25%, that's awesome. Charge it really fast, this powerful iPhone 13. That's epic. Got it right here, ketchup dispenser. Check this out. There is the instruction. Cut it, put it through, and squeeze it by rotating it. Let's see. So grab your ketchup pocket, put it through, and cut it. Nice. Then slide to here. And what we're going to do is just pull this little cup. And check this out. It's going to... Take out all of the ketchup. Beautiful. All right, first time was a little bit of a mess. And also you take this out and remove that. So at least my fingers are clean, but yeah, you'll have to clean this off with a napkin and stuff. Okay, let's try this one more time. Grab your ketchup pocket, slide it to, and then put this down, start spinning it. And then pour it wherever you have to pour it. You know what, now that I figured it out how to use it, actually pretty easy. Boom. And then don't put it all the way through and then pull it out. And success, must free this time. One more time, got my ketchup, put it through, slide it open. Make sure this is uh, leveled, you see like that. Slide it through and then whenever you're ready to take the ketchup out, just go like that. And as you can see, you really can pull slowly. This time I cut it much thinner. That works as well. Look how much ketchup there is. And once it's done, you can pull it, take it out all the way. And then pull out the ketchup pocket. 
and then pull this up and then you have right here left piece that you cut it off and there's a blade obviously super easy to clean just rinse the whole thing off so they go kitchen ketchup dispenser love it mess free if you know how to do it james every day carry screwdriver check this out there's a little carabiner a spinny thing it's quite spinny uh, so there is a as you can see screwdriver with a magnet magnetic so it'll stand up pretty good so you can grab it and spin it this way you see if you hold it up top here you can put it onto the wall especially whenever you like push into the screw you see it can be spinned pretty easily this way or this way doesn't matter pretty awesome um, does it come off some spin over here has a little rubber what is that oh oh so it doesn't make any noise <laughs> yeah obviously we'll take that out and you have right here flat head I'll stick it in there I guess you can keep it inside the piece of paper so that way it doesn't make a bunch of noise but that's all right make a little bit on the noise not too bad so there you go replaceable uh, bits very nice i love that little james uh, like driver got it right here another mock army this time fidget pen check this out wow that's been so good i love that most of the fidget pens don't speed that well or well, they would have been stopped a long time ago and as you can see this is right here bolt action double bolt action so i guess if you left handed right handed it's kind of fun also fidgety over here the coolest part is right here look how much it spins very fast and long Max 300 Lumet Mini Light. Check this out, and it made from some awesome materials. Usually, whenever you get mini flashlights like that, made out of plastic with a tiny light bulb that doesn't give off any light. Look at that. It's rechargeable too. Stainless steel and aluminum. Press it and hold. A little bit of light, more, more. So it looks like this would be 300 lumens. That's really bright. I love it. Like a little circle like that. And whenever you put it onto the wall, look how much it's reflecting. So that's the tiniest 300 lumen flashlight I've ever seen. Perfect for keychain or necklace. Boom.